Hi friends, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Tracy. We do a lot of fitness and lifestyle content here. So I hope that you subscribe and stay along for the ride. Today's video is super exciting. Paragon Fitwear is launching the Summit Collection Tuesday, August 29th at 1 p.m. Central Time. I believe this is one of their largest collections to date with three fabrics being released as well as a plethora of products. So with that being said, I figured I would make a whole YouTube video detailing everything that you need to know prior to launch because it's a very stacked collection. And with that being said, let's just get into it. Now this collection is actually already on the website for you to preview. Paragon Fitwear does that for every single launch, which I love because it allows for you guys to see what the price points are, what the products look like on the models, the fabrics and all that. If you go down to the description below, my link should be down there and you can already preview the collection. Once again, Summit launches on August 29th, which is Tuesday at 1 p.m. Central Time. Now there is early access at 12 p.m. Central Time. So if you are interested in early access and on Paragon Fit Wars website all the way at the bottom there is an email sign up so enter your email press submit and then on launch day Paragon will send you an email with the little like early access code so you can shop before everybody else let me just say a lot of stuff tends to sell out during the early access so I would highly highly suggest for you to sign up for early access as always code Tracy does save you 10% off your entire Paragon Fit Wear order if you find this video helpful then I would so appreciate it if you use my code as support me during the launch. Going into the launch details, this launch has a mix of patterns as well as solid colors. And so the patterned pieces are going to be so Saguaro? Saguaro? I really hope I'm saying that right. Badlands as well as Zion and those are just like camo prints. Death Valley, Everglades, Canyonlands as well as Black. Let's go ahead and talk about the fabrics. There are three fabrics coming out they've released before. First and foremost is Flex Sweat. Flex Sweat is going to be Paragon Fit Wear's most like performancey material. Definitely a medium to high compression fabric on me. It's very much a matte performance fabric. There's no sheen or shininess to it at all. There is not not that much stretch so whenever you put it on it's really going to <laughs> hold you in it's also a little bit more on the rougher side a little bit on the denser thicker side in comparison to rec stretch feather knit and reluna which is what i'm wearing right now moving on to rec stretch that's going to be your reluna fabric but in performance form so it is going to have a little bit of a sheen a little bit of a shine to it but it's very very thin it feels like nothing whenever you have it on super cooling to the touch and just very stretchy overall definitely a low compression fabric on me. It's quite literally just the opposite of Reluna, whereas Reluna is the super thin, naked feeling brushed fabric. Rex Stretch is going to be the super thin, naked feeling performance fabric. And last but not least, we have Feather Knit, and I am so excited for this comeback. I made a video last year for one of Paragon Fit Wars launches where they introduced the Feather Knit short, and it is still by far my most worn short. I work with so many brands now and, it, and it's amazing and everything, but Feather Knit has my heart and I cannot wait to share the new colorways with you guys. But Feather Knit is going to be super lightweight, almost kind of like a silky, velvety type of feel. Flowy, just lays on your body really well. Also doesn't feel like anything whenever you have it on. The fabric is coined after the name, right? It's feather light. It's very feathery feeling. Feels like nothing on your skin while also being super cooling as well. And I'll put the screenshot up here once again for you guys, but just be aware that not every piece comes in every print or colorway. Now let's hop into the actual pieces that are launching. Starting off with the flex sweat pieces, we have the Big Moves Sculpt Seam Legging, the Legacy Bra, as well as the Elite Crop, and these are all the camo pieces. Moving on to Rec Stretch, we have the Levitate Sculpt Seam Plus V2 Leggings. There's also going to be the Levitate Sculpt Seam Plus Short Contour Crop, and last but not least, there's going to be Feather Knit, so we have the square Brahmi, which is my new favorite tank top from Paragon Fitwear, hands down, period. As well as the Feather Knit Track Short, which is, again, one of my favorite pieces that Paragon Fitwear has ever launched, ever. And that's it, guys. I'll put my measurements somewhere here on the screen. As always, I'll put all of my sizing down in the description. So... With that being said, let's go ahead and review some pieces. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the flex sweat pieces first and then go all the way down to rec stretch and then feather knit. So first and foremost, I have the Big Moves Sculpt Seam Legging in Saguaro. I just really need to look this up so I feel more confident about saying this name. Let's see. Saguaro. Saguaro? 
Sawaro. Okay, cool. Sawaro, as well as Badlands. We're gonna see these colors come up in these solid pieces. So this collection is so unique because you're able to mix and match all of the patterns with the solid colors as well. There's a little bit of Death Valley interwoven in Badlands, as well as Everglades interwoven in Sawaro. I feel like Camo is outdated by now. And seeing this print, I was just like, mm, I'm not too crazy about it. I'm not gonna lie. Not a piece that I would gravitate to too often just because I'm kind of over camo, but alas, here we are. This is made out of the flex sweat fabric, so definitely a high compression legging on me. If we take a closer look at what the fabric is looking like, it is a little bit on the rougher side comparatively to Rex Stretch or Raluna or even Feather Knit. It features a very, very high waisted waistband, like, geez, that's at least a three inch waistband, if not a little bit more, but I have a very short torso, so this sat very high waisted on me. There's no front seam at all, so no camel. There aren't a lot of seams running through this legging at all. It's literally just through the inner portion of the leg, but otherwise it's just that camel print through and through. These leggings are a 25 inch inseam. If we turn to the back, there is this tapered glute seam, which doesn't look too exaggerated here, but whenever you put it on, it's definitely on the more exaggerated side and sits above your glutes, which is something that I've always appreciated about Paragon Fitwear is that their glute seams never cut your glutes in half and we love to see it. The inner lining is made of the lightest color in this print. So whenever you stretch out the fabric, the pattern kind of shears out. I just don't really like that because I feel like it looks kind of cheap if I'm being honest with you guys. And just showing you guys the inner lining of Sawaro. It is this lighter green color, but nonetheless, it is squat proof on me. I wore a black thong throughout the entire try on portion of this video. And all you could see was like the pattern kind of shearing out. And then last but not least, this legging does come equipped with sculpt seam on the glute seam. There's this little strip of elastic sculpt seam plus is entirely different from this and the camel pieces do not have sculpt seam plus which is a lot more visible and I'll go through those pieces whenever I get to them if you're in between sizes then absolutely size up an extra small was almost compressing my glutes to the point where I could size up to a small and I think I'd be fine next up we have the legacy bra once again in Saguaro as well as Badlands this bra is very much a high compression sports bra once again in the flex sweat material so it's gonna be a little bit more on the rougher side features this scoop neckline that's rather deep so it's kind of like a little push-up bra on me i'm not gonna lie it it's doing wonders for the girls. Has very thin straps that come to the top all the way back into this super thin racer back. The band is very stiff, so this was pretty difficult to like get over my chest. And for a minute, whenever I wore it, I kind of felt a little bit too constricted, like I wasn't able to breathe, but I did work out in this bra and it performed really well. It's one of those bras where you know that you're being held in and you don't have to worry about any of the girls falling out, any gaping at all. Turning to the back, once once again, like I mentioned before, there's a super thin racer back down the middle. And surprisingly, even though this bottom band is super compressive, the band around the bra on the back was more on the stretchy side, as you'll see in the try on haul. So there wasn't a lot of digging at all all on my lats even though the bra did fit me a little bit more on the compressive side overall otherwise it does come with removable cup pads and if you're in between sizes definitely size up in this bra i feel like i could potentially do a size medium and i would be fine in this bra even in the try on clip you could see that a little bit of my armpit fat was hanging out which to me isn't normally a problem like i don't really care about that at all but just something to note because the neckline is a little bit more on the narrow side so yeah fits a little bit on the smaller side if it between size up. Next up, the last flex sweat item that I have is going to be the Elite Crop. Pick this up in Badlands in a size extra small. I feel like I've just been trying extra smalls in a lot of the tops that I've been picking up from all the brands that I work with because I'm trying to see if I'm a small or an extra small now because my sizing is kind of wonky. If you guys watched my last video, you would know because I did a whole little rant on that. This top is very compressive, which I should have known about just because I know what flex sweat fits and feels like, so I should have just gotten a small in this top, but I don't know, my cuckoo ass just picked up an extra small and it was so compressive, you guys. Oh my goodness. Prior to sizing details, let me just talk about details of this top. There's nothing too crazy going on, right? It's just your simple crop top silhouette with a higher scoop neckline, shorter cap-ish type of sleeves, and then the camel print all over. Turning to the back, 
Very simple, no keyhole, no nothing, just the Paragon Fitwear logo at the top center right there. It looks stretchy right now, but I'm telling you, whenever you have it on, it is so compressive and the inner lining is made of that like lighter color as well. If you're in between sizes for this, size up. I can't even really say that this one's small because I just picked a size down from what I normally would have picked, but I think if I were to pick a size small, then it would, it would be fine. You know what I'm saying? Moving on to something a little bit more breathable, we're gonna talk about Rec Stretch, which has very quickly become one of my favorite favorite fabrics from Paragon Footwear just because it is so thin and stretchy but also sweat wicking and cooling. It just feels really good on your skin. Anywho, we have the contour crop. I picked her up in Death Valley, Everglades, as well as black. Now this color is Lizard and this is the Reluna crop that launched way, way back. The color is similar but not quite the same. Everglades is just a tad bit darker than Lizard is and Lizard's a little bit more muted. So so there's your little like color comparison. But anywho, I picked up both of these colors in a size extra small, black in a size small, and I'll do sizing comparisons here in a sec. But details about this top. It has a very high neckline, so definitely holds your girls and it just keeps you held in as a whole. There is some thick seam detailing along the collar as well as the sides of this top as well. And this is what the fabric looks like up close. Thin, stretchy, very fine in terms of the like detailing and whatnot. And overall, it's just so insanely stretchy. You can definitely tell that this is a performance fabric and it's super cooling as well. If we move further down, then again, there is that scoop hem at the very bottom and it's a laser cut detailing. So completely raw hems at the bottom right here, which kind of scare me a little bit, especially along the side, but it looks like they already took that into account by adding this little seam detailing right here. So that way the seam doesn't rip at all. But even then I feel like on the black piece that I have, yeah, you can just kind of see some the loose threads right there. Definitely something to make note of that this raw hem detailing is delicate. So to be super careful whenever you're taking it on and off. Otherwise turning to the back, all you have is the Paragon Fitwear logo up there top and center. No other details in the back. And if we turn this top inside out, then it does come with a shelf bra and removable cup pads that are molded in shape. So that way they're not moving around in the top at all. And I love that little bit of detail because one thing about me is I hate having to readjust my cup pads. Pads. I just would like for them to stay in place and Paragon already knew about that So they already did that for us But comparing sizing I would say that if you're in between sizes for this top definitely size up I figured that because rec stretch was so stretchy kind of like Reluna that I could just size down and be fine in this top But as you can see in the try on clip the collar of the top was just invasive on my neck It was kind of like choking me out a little bit and then the sides of the top just cut in a little bit to my armpit fat It dug into my lats a little bit more more on the extra small. It was just a lot more compressive as a whole just because the body of the top was smaller as a whole and it also fit me a little bit shorter as well. Even showing you guys right here, you can just tell that on the small, the neckline goes a little bit deeper than the size extra small. So whenever I put the size small on, it just was sitting at such a nice place on my neckline. I wasn't being choked out and there's just a little bit more body to the shirt so that way there wasn't any digging. It also ends a little bit deeper as well, hence why it's not digging into my lats. And then the top is a little bit longer too. So it gave me a little bit more length while still being across top on me. So yeah, definitely love how this small feels on me overall. I feel like if this didn't have a shelf bra, then I could wear a size extra small and be just fine, but it might just be because of that extra material of there being a shelf bra in there that it just was a lot more compressive. So yeah, definitely size up if you're in between sizes. All right, last piece that I have in the rec stretch fabric is going to be the Levitate Sculpt Seam Plus 5 inch short in Death Valley as well as Everglades. Pick these up in my true size extra small. I wore this outfit to the gym with the Legacy Sports Bra in Badlands and it was the cutest freaking outfit because there is, once again, a little bit of Death Valley in that camo print, but this is what the short is looking like. This should look familiar because we saw this in the Muscle Beach collection, but now they cut it into shorts. They did make one change though, like I said, they actually made the waistband a little bit wider with more stretch so that way it wasn't digging in so much and I did notice that in the Beach Cruiser levitate leggings where it was a little bit more on the compressive side but this is just so comfortable like they're really making these changes fast 
next, you guys, and we love to see it. The short does have a high-waisted waistband, not as high as the camo leggings at all, but still on the high-waisted side, double line. So this waistband feels a lot more thick than the body of these shorts, which are otherwise very stretchy. The waistband seam has this double seam situation going on, and it goes all the way to the back, where it actually just kind of like ends where that glute seam is and it just kind of falls into a really deep glute seam and I love that because we've seen it before and let's say like Gymshark x Whitney and then Vitality as well but this just makes it a little bit more unique and I really like that but otherwise no front seam so no camel and then the bottom of the short does have a band but there is virtually no end stretch to this guys like this material is just so stretchy definitely a low compression on me and because of the low compression I did notice that the short rode up whenever I did any jumping movements so just be aware of that either way I'm glad that this is a five inch short so that way even though it does ride up it's not so crazy to the point where your glutes are on display you still have a little bit of fabric underneath your glutes if we turn to the back of the short we just have paragon footwear back and center in that tonal moment and then a deep glute seam so this is what's called sculpt seam plus so that sculpt seam that I showed you guys in the camo leggings where it was just the elastic in the glute seam this just takes it up a notch hence the plus to where on the outside it looks very exaggerated it looks like a proper scrunch and this is what it looks like on the inside where I think the elastic is just kind of like scrunched up and then sewn in but once you stretch it out then that scrunch goes away and let me show you guys what that looks like in the front as well here's a scrunch and then once you pull on it goes away and that's exactly what it's going to look like on your glutes as well and I love that they did it on the rec stretch fabric because it's just so stretchy that whenever you glide these leggings up your glutes and up your legs then it just situates itself into place and it just looks so good without you having to do any of the hassle work of like pulling things up in between your cheeks if you know what I'm saying. Sculpt Seam Plus definitely stays in my glutes more than Sculpt Seam does but I can't tell if it's because of the engineering of the actual glute seam itself or if it's because of the fabric that paired up with it. If you are in between sizes for this short, I would say that it's safe to size down. And then the last thing I wanted to note is that whenever I wore this to the gym, I did snag it on a dumbbell or a barbell or something. There is a bit of like pilling right here, barely noticeable, but just something to be aware of that there is a possibility of like the fabric snagging. So just be careful whenever you wear these leggings because they are pretty delicate. Last but not least, we have Feather Knit. One of my favorite shorts to ever grace the this planet is going to be the feather knit track short. I picked her up in virtually almost all the colorways and I picked all of these up in a size extra small. Here she is and once again feather knit. It's actually very similar to what rec stretch feels like but this kind of has a little bit more of a like silky finish to it versus rec stretch. It just bounces so well and it just truly does have this kind of like velvety almost suede type of finish to it. Features this high-waisted waistband that isn't too thick, isn't too thin. Comes with with this like little internal drawstring on the side of this short there's a scallop hem and the bottom of the short basically just folded in on itself and it's heat bonded so it just looks very seamless and I just love how this looks there is a little bit more length in the back so that way it just covers your glutes up they do have an inner short lining and this short is very much like a spandexy thin short there's one pocket on the right hand side that's I would say a medium size pocket and I want to say that this is a three inch inseam on the inner short definitely did ride up whenever I had this on has a front and a back seam I feel like the front seam isn't invasive and even though the shorts ride up on me a lot there's enough length on the outer shell of the short to where nothing is gonna show through whatsoever it truly feels like a feather you don't really feel anything whenever you have it on and that's why I love this short so much for sizing I feel like you couldn't go wrong with sizing up in these shorts not that it's like super compressive on me or anything at all it, it fits me honestly true to size but the general consensus on shorts it seems is just to size up loose shorts are meant to be a little bit more comfortable and I feel like sizing up would prevent these inner shorts from like riding up too much if there's a little bit of just extra material there as a whole especially if you have thicker thighs too last but not least another feather knit piece I have the square Brahmi in Death Valley on the model on the website the bottom band looked a little bit thicker but it's actually so freaking thin and I can't wait to get into more details but before I begin 
again, I got this top in a size extra small. So like I said, my sizing kind of fluctuates throughout this entire collection, but I picked out an extra small in this top and I am super happy with the sizing that I picked out. But this top features this very low square-ish neckline. I say ish because it has a rather soft curve here. Thin straps that go all the way in the back, no adjustments whatsoever. This top also is very, very short. So it actually hits me like way above my belly button. The bottom band here just has this like seam detailing going all the way around, but it doesn't add any additional thickness to it at all. It does come with a shelf bra with removable cup pads as well. In an extra small, this top on me did fit like a low to medium compression. The back is rather simple, nothing going on there at all. One thing I will say about this top is that I wish it was adjustable though, or that the straps were a little bit shorter because whenever I sat a little bit more relaxed, then the straps had a tendency to kind of like slide down my shoulder a little bit, not to the point where it like slid off of my shoulder, but it wasn't sitting completely straight. Not that it made me uncomfortable or anything, but definitely something to note. If you're in between sizes for this top, then I would recommend two size down. And this is just my sizing across the board for square necklines. I have a tendency to gape. I found that sizing down in square neck bras just completely eliminated that gaping while also fitting me so much better as well. So knowing that this was a square neck bra, I was like, all right, let's just go ahead and size down, cross our fingers. And that was definitely the right move for me. So if you have a tendency to gape in square neck bras, then definitely size down. And just regardless, size down if you're in between sizes because this is just so, so stretchy. All right, guys, that wraps it up for this review. I hope that y'all found this review helpful. Once again, this collection launches August 29th at 1 p.m. Central Time. There is early access at noon Central Time. And if you click on the link in my description, then you can sign up for early access. If you are planning on shopping this launch, then code Tracy will save you 10% off. It also supports me and lets the Paragon Fitwear team know that I sent you and that you found my content helpful. And I would so, so appreciate it if you used my code. So thank you so much in advance. If you haven't already, then go ahead and follow me over on TikTok and Instagram at TracyBFit. And last but not least, leave this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what your favorite piece was. And if you haven't already, then go ahead and subscribe for more videos coming your way so, so soon. With that being said, I will leave you guys to it and I will talk to y'all sometime later. So <laughs> bye.